First question, Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, a big picture question. How difficult is it to evaluate players over these last 15 games, considering all the shuffling that's going on, all the, all the different lineups, and most of all, no practice? Hardly any practice. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I think that's where you have to be careful. I, I, I actually think, I mean, I learned this a long time ago, just talk to, talking to veteran NBA coaches, you know, management people, whatever. You've always got to be careful of the last 10, 15 games of the year. You know, there's, there'll be a lot of inflated numbers, um, a lot of, like you're saying, different lineups on the floor. Uh, some teams trying harder to win than other teams. I mean, it's just the way that it is. And sometimes some teams are trying to get ready for the playoffs. Other teams are playing out the string, and it's always been that way. And you just, to me, you just have to understand where you're at, what you're trying to do. Um, and then, you know, you, you, you do your best evaluation from there. But I will say this. If you look back since I've been in the league, there's a lot of guys that knocked it out for the last eight to 10 games and everybody's saying, boy, he got it and he didn't. So you have to be very careful. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. With, with, with a rare practice day today, what were your guys' focus and, and what were you able to accomplish? And I'm assuming a, a light session today. Yeah, it was, we had guys obviously play big minutes last night. So we actually did a lot more offense. Uh, the defense was more off tape and like a walkthrough session. Um, but guys are good. Listen, we're, we're actually, you know, like last night, you know, we played three out of four good quarters. You know, the third quarter, we just, you know, for the second game in a row, you know, we just lost our juice like that first three and a half, four minutes. And really in Toronto, uh, Tampa against Toronto, our first half was really good and the second half was really bad. And we have to find a way to put 48 minutes together, obviously. Philip Rossman, Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Um, when it comes to the offense, you know, earlier in the season, you were really focused on getting the team's pace up and, and, and play, you know, playing at a, at, a, at a faster pace. What's the focus with that now with, with, this, with this team? Is it where you want it to be and, and you know, kind of on, on kind of the raw pace basis? Do you want to see the team trying to get more fast break opportunities? Yeah, actually, that not not necessarily the fast break part, but the pace part was what we worked on today. And if you watch us, um, you know, you, you know, when the ball's moving quick, well, like any team, right? When the ball's moving quicker and we set better screens and we have quicker rolls, that's when we're scoring. And when the ball sticks or we don't have guys creating action or putting pressure on the defense, I know it sounds simple or we have spacing issues. We don't score as well. I'm not as concerned with fast break points, um, but like you're talking about, to me, how quickly you get into offense and how much pressure you put on the defense with every pass is the whole key to the NBA. And especially with a team like ours right now where, you know, we don't have a lot of breakdown guys. So how much we move the defense, how quickly the ball moves, you know, from side to side, I believe is, is critical. Is – is that more of a challenge to create with younger players? Um, you know, obviously you had Markel last year, but with a veteran, with a veteran group, but is it more, is it more of a challenge to kind of create that pressure with younger guys? I think so, because again, what you're getting back to is, and we have guys that are good, good off the dribble too. And you want to take advantage of that. But I think combining the both versus, uh, you know, guys that just want to, you know, again, play like it's AAU you know, seven dribbles per catch and, you know, the ball just sticks and the defense just sits. And I actually gave them some, uh, you know, guidelines today. You know, one of the things that's hard for college players or an adjustment for college players is I think if you look at it, I got this stuff yesterday, you know, for the most part, a lot of the stats that are important to winning in college or playing good offense aren't really prevalent, aren't really paramount at all in our league. So like, for instance, most of the good college teams, they steal the ball, they score off their defense, uh, they score a lot of fast break points, they score a lot of second chance points. In our league, those things are all good, and none of them are as important as, you know, true shooting percentage or, you know, and, and so that is an adjustment because that's where the game is different. Not because at all, because of coaching, but because the age experience level of players 
which leads to higher execution. Crystal Saltis, 14 degrees. So coach, hope you're doing well. Coach, I know it's too early because you have a new team since the trade deadline, but did you, uh, did you notice any sign of growth to your players so far in the last games? And what would you like to maintain or improve about the rest of the season? Well, I'm hoping that we can make progress in both areas. You know, I think it's important, um, or all three areas, you know, I, I, whether you count rebounding as part of defense or not. But I, I think that you, you always want to be, uh, you know, locked into what you have to do at both ends of the floor. That's what we did today, you know, uh, a couple emphasis on offense, a couple emphasis on defense. Um, and, you know, that's what I'm hopeful for. And I, I think in a more general sense is just, again, to try to put 48 minutes together, you know, because, uh, you know, again, these last two games, you uh, you know, we could have, you, you know, we could have won easily both of them had we not had those lulls, you know, and I think that's a good challenge for our group. Dan Savage. Cliff, one of the, one of the many challenges for young point guards in this league is, is that balance of when to score and, and when to get teammates involved. How is, how is Cole doing with, with that element, you know, especially considering he, he missed 25 games, uh, didn't have a training camp or much of a training camp, no summer league, et cetera. I think very well. I mean, I see like the thing that you guys don't see him in practice. He's, he, he's locked in. He badly wants to be, he's a very committed player, very serious minded player. And, uh, you know, he wants to be good and he wants to do all of it. I mean, he's working hard on his game his skill. You know, he works with Lionel Chalmers and, and, uh, and all of that. But he's also, when you do team things is, you know, he wants to know and he wants to be a leader. And so I think that uh, all of those things, I, I mean, I just see it in him. He has, uh, you know, he has the right attitude. He has the right approach, you know. Josh Robbins. Steve, that uh, rib injury he had is, uh, was a strange injury. Maybe it was brought on by the hits or pounding he took over years. What does it tell you about Cole that he is stepping in to take charges now? I think he attempted to take a charge last night, for instance. He yeah. Uh, he t hey, he's, uh, you know, I, I think when I watched him and, you know, watched the uh, – you know, college film on him. The one thing that stands out to me is competitive spirit, you know, which is, I don't think there's anything more important for a player. You know, when you play 82 games a year, there's not a lot of motivational speeches in our league. You know, it's, you get ready to play and you need guys who have a love of the game and a passion. And, and when guys will step in and do things like that, I mean, again, you know, he wants to win badly. Uh, and he makes a ton of physicality plays. I mean, his rebounding is similar, Josh. I would say the defensive end of the floor where, you know, he'll block out and go get a traffic rebound. Did you have a follow-up, Josh? Yes, but a different subject. Uh, how is Terrence doing? Yeah. Health wise hurt. Yeah, not great. Um, you know, he wasn't, even able, he, he wasn't even able to come in the building today. He's really locked up. Um, you know, just having trouble getting around with mobility. So he won't be coming with us to Atlanta. Pete Byrne, WSBT. Hey, Coach, wanted to talk to you about Devin Kennedy real quick. You've had a little more than a week to look at him now. I'm curious what he's shown you in, in his limited action, but also what you're seeing in practice and, and, and what type of NBA player do you think he projects as? I'm a Devin fan. I mean, you know, obviously we had him in training camp. Um, and then, you know, you know, playing, playing for Lakeland, uh, he's, uh, he's bright. He's got a high motor. Um, he can really shoot the ball. Uh, and he, he too is, he's a good competitor. So, um, he's going to get chances here. You like, he, you know, he played last night. He'll play again, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought he said he handled himself fine last night, you know, and, and, uh, you know, we'll see. This is a good opportunity for him. We'll wrap things up here with Dan Savage. 
Cliff, uh, you know, heading over to Atlanta, they're playing some of their their best basketball right now. I don't know how much you've had a chance to look at them, but but what do you see them doing? You know, really well, especially as of late. Yeah, you know, I only got a chance this morning. I've only watched like one of their games, so that's going to be the rest of my day. Um, you know, I you know, again, I haven't. You know, what's happened, Dan, this year compared to other years is we're playing every other day, and I don't. You know, you don't get to watch, sit and watch games like, you know, sometimes you see most years you might see a great game and, you know, you can get done the, the game prep stuff early because you have two days and watch one. And this year it's just like team to team to team. And I have not seen them, you know, much since we played them right before the All-Star break. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you.